When Batman returns, he comes back big with a capital B. The Caped Crusader took in over $46 million since it opened, merely the biggest opening in movie history. It was, uh, it was great. I thought it was very entertaining. It was a real good movie. Batman made a smash return from coast to coast, breaking the opening weekend record set by the first Batman movie in 1989. And in Pittsburgh, Batman star Michael Keaton made his own triumphant return to his hometown for a benefit premiere. <laughs> Afterward, he celebrated with friends and family, but Keaton admits grappling with some new challenges in Batman Returns. Our Garrett Glazer has that story. In the movie, Keaton is back to battle the enemies of Gotham City, but he admits he had mixed feelings about slipping into his skin-tight costume again, despite design changes to make it more comfortable. One of the changes was they tried to put a zipper in it this time to make going to the bathroom a little easier, which was a noble effort, but, you know, there'd be camera angles where I'd hear the camera click off, and then Tim would go, ah, we're seeing the zipper. And the zipper, the zipper might even be down partly. We're seeing the zipper, so, they, so instead of changing the entire thing, I try and position myself, and you find yourself, you know, doing scenes like this as Batman. You know, we are. What do you want? Ah, oh, the direct approach. I Keaton admire. told me he enjoyed working with Danny DeVito, who plays the sinister penguin, and he got a big kick out of his scenes with Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. She literally gives Batman a licking. Tell me about how many takes you did with the, with the Michelle licking you? I mean, was it easy? 674. <laughs> I just couldn't seem to find it, you know? I just kept asking him, nah, that one didn't quite work for me. You all had actually dated a few years prior, right? So, a little, yeah, a little bit. Did that help the comfort level? Yeah, just because any time you know somebody, I think, you know, you know someone, those things are never probably as great as everyone thinks they are. But, let's face it, there's a point below which, I mean, how bad could it get? Keaton had no problem getting into shape for the fight scenes in the movie, but it was a different story driving that Batmobile. I'm pretty claustrophobic. Little things like sitting in a little Batmobile, pretending like you're driving a Batmobile, is really hard for me. If I weren't claustrophobic, it'd be a lot more fun. Did you have to drive it or anything? Very little. The thing's a hog. <laughs> no, it kind of sits there, and you got six crew guys who roll it up on a ramp, and then they add you know, a lot of sound, and you jump out with the keys in your hand. Garrett Glazer, Entertainment Tonight.